The difference between looking rich and actually being rich is the style and attitude. You don't need a lot of money to look classy and sophisticated. Small tweaks in your style, attitude, and demeanor can help a lot with that rich and classy vibe. Remember that, in order to be rich, one must project an image of wealth at all times. A party's always a great place to meet new people. No matter when and where it is. And who the other guests are. Some parties are better for meeting potential dates and new friends. While you can use others to make important connections that will move your career forward. However, you won't be able to enhance your social life. Or your working life if all the people at the parties. You attend think that you're a complete fool. To avoid being thought of this way. You've simply got to put your best foot forward and make a positive impression on the other guests. It's, relatively, easy to look rich when you're wearing a gown. But finesse comes down to style, manners, the way you talk and walk, and posture. So, dressing better alone will not make you look rich. Work on all angles and cover all the bases. Here you'll get tips on how to act rich and classy. Not to worry. Though there isn't some book that you need. To take out of the library and memorize. If you follow the basic tips. You'll be just fine. Tips on how to act rich so you can blend in at a high-end event. 1. Try to walk at a normal speed. Not too slowly as if you have nothing to do. And not too fast as if you are late for a job interview. 2. Talk at moderate speed and speak clearly. Don't be too loud or too silent. Your voice should give off confidence. 3. Don't carry coins in your pocket. 4. Try to always valid park. It's about making an entrance. 5. Always be polite. Even when nobody's looking treat everyone with respect and kindness. Arrogance has nothing to do with looking rich and classy. 6. Look people in the eye. Confidence is part of the package. 7. Be attentive in your conversations using your body language. Avoid looking distracted. 8. Follow proper table manners. Avoid talking while eating, big bites, and chewing loudly. Do not make funny sounds with the cutlery. 9. Never shout for any reason. Especially to your waiter. Wait to be noticed or make yourself be seen without yelling. Yelling looks bad. 10. Always tip your waiter. 11. Do not overshare. Keep your conversations fun and smart so that people want to stay in your circle. 12. Work on your culture. Read a lot. You want to make people see that you are not shallow and that there are things they can learn from you. 13. Have hobbies and interests. We're not always full of juicy stories and fun things to talk about. Your interests can be great conversation topics when meeting new people. And you'll have the upper hand as you'll know more about the topic than the next person. 14. Make sure your clothes are always well pressed and clean. It's important to have good clothes but it's even more important to have clothes that look good and are well kept. 15. Be ready for the weather. Not only do you want to make sure that you're dressed smartly, but that you're dressed appropriately for the weather. If it's cold. Layering can be sophisticated. For ladies I recommend a scarf for the added touch. 16. 
Fine jewelry is more sophisticated than large pieces. Fake pearls are difficult to identify. Wearing them is an excellent way to save a little if you can't afford a diamond necklace. 17 Practice and no basic etiquette. Wealth comes with elegance. If you want to act like you've got money, you need to practice good manners at all times. 18. Work on your posture. Chin up, shoulders pushed back and tummy tucked in. This will strengthen your core as well. 19. Don't drink too much. This isn't to say that you shouldn't have a good time. You just don't want to be the one throwing up at the dinner table or all over the host's couch. Know approximately how many drinks you can have without starting to feel queasy. And stick to that limit, even if others try to goad you into drinking more. To further reduce your risk of woofing your cookies, make sure you eat a bit of food as you drink. And if you can tell that your walk is starting to become more of a stumble, switch to water for a while. 20. Wear proper clothing and keep it on. Before you head out to a party, ask the host what the accepted style of dress will be. You don't want to show up in flip-flops and shorts while the other guests are in suits or ball gowns. 21. Find a private place for romance. It's understandable that you may come upon a girl or guy you're attracted to at a party. And the next step after some flirting will likely be a lip lock. Find a quiet place to go with your love interest, or if that seems impossible. Leave the event altogether to get some private time. 22. Don't hook up with multiple people. Even if you're not doing it in front of everyone. It's not cool to hook up with multiple girls or guys at the same party. If you do so, people may start to talk about you as someone who's way too promiscuous. 23. Watch your humor. When we're drunk, we are more likely to say things that offend or even anger other people. Offense and anger usually disrupt the fun atmosphere of a party pretty quickly. So you've got to remember to filter your words, even when you're feeling very fuzzy-headed. 24. Don't break anything. Whether you're partying in a public place, or at someone's home, you've got to respect the property of the host. Of course, if you're even a bit tipsy, you could break things by accident, too. So it's best to avoid any electronics or breakables that you spot around a party's venue. 25. Do not fight. If someone tries to engage you in a fight while you're partying, the best course of action is to excuse yourself and go chat with a group of other people. They can also act as protection if the person seeking conflict does get aggressive. 26. Be faithful to your significant other. This should be a no-brainer. But some people think that once alcohol's on the table, all bets are off. Your SO is unlikely to accept the lame excuse of I was drunk, though. You may think that you can keep your cheating a secret from them, but even if they don't know any of the other guests at a party directly, word tends to travel quickly and expansively throughout the social grapevine. 27. Drop your phone and mingle. Parties are for catching up with old friends and acquaintances, plus meeting new people face to face. 28. Also don't spend time recording everything. 29. Refrain from snooping. People want to acquaint themselves with others who are trustworthy. So your party's host will not be happy if they, for instance, find you snooping through their underwear drawer or looking at the bank statements on the desk of their home office. 
If you're identified as a snoop, you may also be assumed to be a thief, so you could become suspect number one if anything goes missing. 30. Don't be a freeloader. If a party you'll be attending is taking place somewhere that isn't a bar or restaurant, ask your host if there's anything that you should bring. But even if they say you can show up hands-free, toting some of your own booze is a good idea.